spray. I was petrified. Longstool Regional Medical Center is one of the military's premier hospitals and recently played host to a living monarch. Not the Queen of England, but the Queen of Disco, Ms. Gloria Gaynor. During her visit, Ms. Gaynor met with several patients, but Private First Class Thomas Sasko made a lasting impression. He was really funny and, and, and cheerful and, you know, he's laying in a hospital bed and he's all broken up and yet he's like so cheerful and still so uh, willing to do what he does, so willing to protect us. And not surprisingly, Gloria Gaynor made a lasting impression on Private Sasko. I know, it was pretty crazy. I mean, you, you know, I have her come, you know, come in in person and she actually uh, gave me a little solo because I'm not going to be able to make it down, make it down to see her down with the USO. You know, you always, you always see on TV, like, celebrities coming to, like, see, like, uh, you know, see the troops and everything. And, uh, Thank you. To have somebody come in and, and actually do that for you, it means a lot, you know. In the time leading up to recording her number one single, I Will Survive, Ms. Gaynor suffered a serious fall on stage, which put her in the hospital. The following slew of medical procedures helps her identify with the patient she meets. I know what I went through. I know how difficult it was to recover, to come back, to get back into singing. And that happened as an accident. I, I can only imagine the pain that, hap that comes from having something like that happen to you because you're out there trying to serve and protect other people. And if those people don't show any kind of an appreciation, I can't imagine the black hole that must leave in your heart. Ms. Gaynor also took time to eat lunch with the troops at the USO Wounded Warrior Center and sing the song that won her the first and only ever disco Grammy, I Will Survive. Airman First Class Nate Gettleman, Launchstuhl, Germany.